now I have my paint ready and I'm using Martha Stewart's <laughs> put the white away so because I've already poured it out in my little container but it's the Martha Stewart satin multi-purpose acrylic paint and I love her paints I use them a lot not just hers I use hers and I use others but it depends on what colors I need and some some makers don't have all the colors that I need so uh, the next thing I have to figure out is the brush and I I don't buy expensive brushes for acrylics I get these at Michaels mainly uh, or Hobby Lobby and I have an inch brush and I have a three uh, I have an inch brush and a three-quarter inch brush now I told you my squares are one and an eighth inch and it just depends on I'm gonna try this one first <clears throat> and if it goes over my lines because it kind of spreads out when you're painting I'll have to use my three-quarter inch brush so I also this is something else that I do um, I won't do it the whole way but I'll start I want to start in the corners with white so I'm gonna put a little X there and so every other square, every other square will be an X until it ends with an X. So this will be white, 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 white with the black in between. And then I'll do that all the way down. Here we go. I don't know why, if I told you why I love gel pens, but I do because they're very forgiving. I can um, erase it very simply with the Q-tip, which is another one of my favorite things that I do use is q-tips so here we go I'm just gonna do a two few squares for you to show you how I do this and it's not as easy painting inside a container so it's a little more tricky and maybe I shouldn't have started with this particular project but this is what I decided to do so now I've got my first square painted and I wanted to go to the all the corners of the square so that when I paint the next white it will meet up with that white so I go all the way across and this brush seems to be working nicely so this is my inch brush for an inch and an eighth square now I'll tell you that I use a calculator <laughs> I have to use a calculator because I can't figure it out by myself so we keep going all the way across. And I go to the other side of the square and then come up to what I've just done. And I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it gives an interesting little effect when you don't go all the way down to the bottom in one swoop. You go down half and up half and meet each other. And it makes for uh, just a texture that I like. Like I say, I'm not like the designer who I love to imitate because I don't have a factory that has, that makes all the furniture and makes all the pottery and makes all the trays and makes all the lamps uh, for, and do everything from scratch. I'm going over mostly old things making them my creations and I actually have some customers who bring me things and one day there's a couple that I will go and visit and let you see what I've done for them I think that would be interesting to do little field trips and show you uh, what I've done for people okay now I've gotten one row finished like that I'm going to start another row and then I think we'll take a break and uh, I'll finish this up so we can start the next step. So I go up and try to meet the corner of the other white square. I like acrylic paints because I can put them on thick and they give a texture so when you're feeling what's painted, it's got a little bit of texture to it. I love that. I love that. 
You know, I don't know if I told you, I'm the mother of four children, grown children. My oldest is 50, I will not say how many. And my youngest just turned 42. And he's my baby. My son, my one and only son. I have three daughters, one son, and 12 grandchildren, of which I adore all of them. And actually next week, some of them are coming here to the lake to visit while it's summer and we've got the boat. We'll be taking the boat out. So now, I finished two rows. And I will turn off the camera if I can turn it off. And um, go ahead and finish all of this. And then we will come back and finish the rest. And you know what I just remembered? I didn't turn off my air conditioner. Kimmy told me, Mom, turn off the air conditioner because it makes a lot of noise in the background. So, I have to apologize. And unless I want to redo this little video, then <laughs> I'm going to have to, uh, you'll have to deal with the noise. I'll try to remember. I'm in my studio, and it's a kind of a jury rig studio. It was just a porch beneath my deck. And I needed a studio after I started painting. I painted for a year on my island in my kitchen, and every day I'd have to take everything down and put it in the garage and then bring it back in the next day and put it on the island. And so that got old after a year, and I decided to enclose my uh, patio beneath my deck. And just for you to know also, we had a horrible rainstorm last night, and uh, this, is, this little studio has a river that runs through it. So I just have to deal with it. It was four o'clock in the morning. I heard the storm. I ran down here. I folded back my rug and saved my rug from getting wet. But that's just the trials and tribulations of having a studio that's not waterproof. Um, I'll tell you what I do with my brushes. I ha, wipe them off on my little drop cloth and drop them in a little container of water to let them soak until when I'm wanting to take a break so that the brush doesn't dry out. And if I'm gonna be too long, I'll put this in a baggie to keep it uh, from drying out. So for now, bye-bye.